Solarbright Green Greg here, and today I'm going to talk about a revolutionary tandem solar PV cell. Now I know what you're thinking. These lights up here on top look like a dance floor at a nightclub, and this lower area looks like pillows for the electrons, maybe in case they get tired. But no, actually, this is a solar cell. And in this video, I'm not going to get too technical, but I just want to give you a basic understanding of the solar cell and what the advantages are. And then the question that homeowners always ask me, which is, should I wait for new solar technology? I'm going to answer those questions at the very end, so stay tuned. Okay. So today, most solar panels are made with silicon or quartz and sand. That is processed for purity and a chemical process. Then these are sliced into wafers. They're etched and become solar cells. A bunch of these solar cells then are assembled into a solar module. And you've got a bunch of these modules on your rooftop. Why would the industry be looking at other materials? The thing is, silicon has some limitations in terms of how highly efficient it can capture the sun. And also, there's some limitation on just how low a cost per watt they can make solar with silicon. So the industry is looking for other materials that are more efficient and lower cost to get more adoption of solar. Now, one of the materials is called perscovite. This is a natural material that's mined, and this is also processed. Now, the solar cell I'm going to show you is actually combining the silicon and the perscovite, which is a bit unique. Okay, so we have a glass cover, the perscovite, and the silicon cells. The light from the sun spans many energies and wavelengths. The higher energies are absorbed by the perscovite. The lower energy photons are absorbed by the silicon. So we have a perscovite absorber and a transparent electrode. A photon is absorbed, creating a whole electron pair. The pair create a potential difference of 1.2 volts across the electrodes. By absorbing only ultraviolet and visible light, the perscovite layer can generate a power density of 200 watts per square meter. Now let's talk about the silicon. You have a silicon base, an anti-reflective coating, and electrical contacts. Infrared photons are absorbed, creating electron hole pairs. The pair create a potential difference of 0.7 volts in the silicon cell. By using only infrared and red light, the layer of silicon cells can generate a power density of up to 100 watts per square meter. Combining the two power sources generates 300 watts per square meter of electrical power, or 30% efficiency. That's far higher than today's solar panels on the market. that are 21%. So you may wonder, well then, what is the advantage of a high-efficiency solar cell? Well, if you're really very limited on roof space versus your electric use, then it would be an advantage to have a high-efficiency solar cell. Now, not everybody has a situation, but as you can see on this rooftop here in this building, the rooftop is maxed out, right, with solar cells. So a lot of people want to be able to generate their own electric, and I think at some point we're going to become independent of the electrical grid, and that's where it's going to be important to have a more highly efficient solar cell. Now. We are also are using a little bit more electric with electric vehicles. That could also come into play as well. However, should you wait for tandem solar cells? Well, that's always a bit of a question that customers ask me all the time. And the thing is, honestly, we don't know exactly when this will be actually commercialized and in mass production at a low cost. The solar panels, they're warranty 25 years right now. And before any new technology is released on the market, 
they're going to do a lot of testing if they're trying to back it up for 25 years because obviously that's a long time. So it's a little bit new. They are doing some pilot tests in 2024, but who knows? I mean, there may be some other material that comes out that might be more efficient or a more efficient method. You just never know how long it's going to take for this to commercialize and also for them to bring down the cost lower than the silicon that we have now. And the silicon solar cells, by the way, are about four times more efficient uh, than they were just a decade or two ago. And so should you wait for the new solar technology? Well, here's the thing. Let's assume you're spending $250 a month and there's an average of 4% rate increase per month. Now, I'm actually on the low side. We've seen price increases of 6%, even high as 11% recently. So I'm actually being very conservative here with my figures. But right now, $250 a month, that's $3,000 a year. As you factor in 4% inflation every year, by year five, it's $292 per month and about $3,500 a year. Well, just in the first five years alone, you spent $16,000. That's almost half the cost of a solar system approximately. Now, over 15 years, it's $60,000 you'd spend with that utility company if you're waiting for that technology. Over 25 years, because solar panels are warranty for 25 years, about 125,000. So I wouldn't wait for the new technology, but it's interesting to know it's there. And the reason why I did this video is to show people that, yeah, there is new technology coming out, but it might be five years out. It might be 10 years out. They might totally switch to a different technology. We just don't know. But in the meantime, you could have already been five, 10 years in and had your solar system already paid off. So that's why I don't recommend waiting for the new technology. Solar Bread Green Greg here. And on this channel, I cover home solar, also known as solar PV, solar pool heating, and energy efficiency. And I do it all without any sales talk. You see, I've been in this industry since 2007, and I know all the insider secrets, the tips, the tricks, but I'm also a homeowner just like you. I now know how it is. You're just trying to do some light troubleshooting or get some information. You don't want sales talk, you want information. If that's you, you just want information, you're in the right spot. So go ahead, hit that subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and hit that notification bell. Oh, and by the way, let me know where you're from. It's always fun to know where people are from. And if you have a future topic you'd like me to cover, pop that in the comments as well. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great sunny day and see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.